blessing out of his curiosity, picked up a detonator and unfortunately exploded in his face. He's young, sister, ran out crying, saying, blessing is dead, grandma, grace, blessing is dead, blessing is dead. Immediately after the explosion, I think I sang it for just a few seconds or a few minutes. Then I saw my sister running out of the room. Then I knew that something big is happening. I've got a lot of faith. I'm not going to lose faith. With his situation, there's been a lot of ridicule. Words are used, monster, and you know things that aren't kind. Doing a surgery in Zimbabwe would never have been an option. We will head down to Sharp and they're going to be able to examine him and give us a better idea of what the surgery is going to look like. This is Dr. Berger, Blessing. Welcome. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ah, I like it. He says what? he feels like it's just a dream. Things are just happening. And he doesn't want to wake up from the dream. Oh. His jaw is being held together, they say, by like a piano wire. See, in here, blessing, is where you're missing the bone. See, from here to there. So what we need to do is we need to rebuild your jaw bone. Because right now, there's nothing here. Okay, and the bone we're going to use from that is bone we're going to take from your leg. The bone that we're harvesting is the fibula. And then we make cuts in it so that we're able to bend that bone and it reconstructs this whole thing and it fits exactly. You need the foundation and then on top of the foundation goes everything else. We put in these little titanium artificial tooth roots and then once those heal to the bone, presto. We're going to take a special 3D x-ray and then we actually virtually do his surgery. Okay, and then which video would you like to use for instruction? Do you want right or left? Which foot do you take the soccer ball with? <laughs> Which way right? Okay, we'll take the left. Left. <laughs> Just doing this on the table, it would take us hours to figure out the cuts and the measurements. So by doing this virtually like this, it saves a huge amount of operating room time. I'm so happy for him that he will have a face that matches the person inside. He's so charismatic and intelligent, and it will just be great that people will see that first and not his accident. It's a new beginning. They're texting his dad to let him know that he's going into surgery. And I was actually talking to his father, and he said, oh, I can't hold my tears. They're just coming out, you know. Do you want to listen to your heart? Okay. It's in there, trust me. <laughs> I could have searched the world over, and this is where we needed to be. A girl from Zimbabwe who he wasn't able to say goodbye to, and so he's been kind of upset, and we were able to find her number, and he could call right before his surgery, so now he's kind of blushing. <laughs> so let me pray for you. God, I thank you for blessing. I thank you for this amazing journey that you have placed him on. Now we pray that all of the doctors and nurses would have your wisdom and your guidance. He's got his whole life ahead of him. And not to be able to really do things that we take for granted, such as eating and swallowing and the normal functions, and to have that opportunity to, to give back that, that's what this is all about. We can change somebody's life. We're going to make our first cut here, and this is the segment that we're going to end up pulling out. The bone in the leg, the fibula, has been removed. We'll be cutting like this, like this, like this. You can sort of see now that looks like the projection of the jaw. He's going to hook this up to vessels in the neck, so this becomes a live bone graft. Dr. Chow, here's your vein. Dr. Berger, I love you. The next move is for me then to bring blood supply. There is a time constraint because we only have so much time to get the bone revascularized. You know, you always keep your fingers crossed because when, when you've had scar tissue and an injury there before, it, you don't know if it's all going to work out fine. The 
it's no longer a fibula or a leg bone, it is now a jaw bone. And it is alive and it is being perfused with blood. Yeah, that, that chin is really not, it really has nice projection now. Hey buddy, we're done. You did great. Good man. Looks pretty good, doesn't he? We are all here before you. <laughs> These are tears of joy. <laughs> He looks fabulous. He looks great. I wasn't expecting such a change. All right. Oh. <laughs> almost, almost. Uh, there you go. That's my buddy. You did it. Our emotions are expressed in our face. Even with his deformity, he had this inner something about him. He feels like he's just in dream. Blessing is dead, blessing is dead. Words are used, monster. I'm not going to lose faith. Well, let me pray for you. God, I thank you for blessing. I thank you for this amazing journey that you have placed him on. He has come a very long The opportunity to see him transform and watching this uh, has been really a blessing for us. Gosh, your chin looks so good. Oh my gosh, it just turned out so good, didn't it? I mean, it really does, blessing. Little by little. Little by little. He's going to get his new smile. This is the ta-da moment. Bang, he has his teeth, he has his smile. His day's finally come. I am waiting for a very long time. I know. I know you have. For the near tomorrow. I know. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're having way too much fun at the dentist. Here we go. Give me a big smile. <laughs> wow. They're really good. You like them? Uh-huh. All right. I love them. It's like a big feeling I've had in a very long time. Now, like, right here in... A little hard to believe? Yeah. It's all right. It's been a long road. It's the soul of this person that's shining through in his smile, and that's making you smile. <laughs> this young man had something special, and so this just makes him complete. Yeah, get used to my new grill, yeah.